guys, this is Rocky back with a cool tutorial on DY Graph. Today I thought I'll teach you guys about how CSV data actually functions, the data format of CSV. It's been pretty confusing for me when I started out working on DY graphs. So I thought uh, it's best if I take out a tutorial especially for that. So there's no big deal uh, when it comes to CSV data but I'm pretty sure that in the last two tutorials you have faced difficulty in, uh, in following through my procedures so in this uh, tutorial i'll try my best to remove all kinds of barriers for you to go on in this journey of dy graphs so the first step as usual is to go to the download page copy the link and paste it over here after that as usual create a div element give it an id whatever you like let's say the originals I'll, I'll tell you why I'm putting it up anyways so after that you get into the JavaScript or tab over here you give a new you can give anything so let us say original is equal to new dy graph oops not the flower bracket yeah so this is where you reference your element as well as your data. So if you if you have seen my previous video, you would know that the first attribute or parameter that you need to fill in is the element, the division element which will hold the graph. And that is no brainer. So I'll just type it out for you over here. Document dot get element by ID the origin comma. All right. The reason uh, I've put it as uh, put it put the name up as the original is because today I have a normal data over here, and uh, as you can see, it involves vampires and werewolves. So yeah, you guessed it right. I've been watching the originals TV show lately. So so going further ahead, we'll be creating a graph like this. On day one, there were 10 vampires and 100 werewolves. While on the second day, there were 20 vampires and 80 werewolves. So it keeps going on. So in the CSV data format, what you can do is you can do it two ways. It's like this. You start off with a quotes over here and then type x coordinate or whatever you would like to call it then a comma vampires werewolves and then do not forget to give this backslash n now backslash n tells the system that you are done with the data over here and you can move on to the next one it's simple so after that put a plus and follow up with your remaining part of the data which is over here 1 10 100 and again backslash n plus and this way you keep going on I'll fast forward the rest of the process over here all right so I'm done with the data over here okay after pressing run you can see that there are two different lines two different graphs over here representing vampires and werewolves so you can see that on day one there were 10 vampires and 100 werewolves while on fourth day there were 70 vampires and 80 werewolves but finally they fought and died a lot of them died so there are 30 vampires and 40 werewolves only so yeah so as you can see this is how we represent our data in the csv format this is a data format and yes there are different ways to input your data this is not the only way all right so moving ahead so what we have over here is that we have an option so you can see that the first thing we have the first data holder that we have filled in we have filled in with the labels over here x coordinate vampires and werewolves which is what appear over here so you can go this way or you can choose to use an option so how do you use an option 
I told you guys in the last video, yes, you have to put a comma and start off using your options. So, as usual, they go in flower brackets and do not forget to keep a semicolon over here. I keep forgetting. Over here, all you type is labels and then start, uh, start an array. And here you can type x coordinate followed by vampires and then werewolves. Alright, so let us run it. Oops, I made a mistake. So I have to delete this before I proceed. So see that you can see that. There are, there are different ways to give labels. One is by options and the other way is to go ahead in the traditional route of you know placing the names of the labels in the start. The key to learning DIY drafts or any other application for that matter is to play around with stuff, play around with various data, input your data. If you're lazy then go get some data out there. Alright so this was a quick lesson on CSV data format. Further, I'll come up with another data format, so make sure you stick to the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that. And help me grow, guys. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.